Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to episode two. I didn't mean to click it that fast, but that was like literally one second. Oh, yeah. You gotta get swifty. Ooh, you gotta get, get swifty in here. Take off your pants and your panties. <laughs> on the floor. Get swifty. <laughs> Guess what I've been watching for the last month? Barney. <laughs> I, I've, for those of you who don't know, that's a song from Rick, Rick and Morty. And Morty. Me, me and uh, my roommate Alex, we, we binged the f the first three seasons this past month. They're so good. I guess I looked up a YouTube video of that song, and <laughs> somebody wrote one of the best YouTube comments I'd read in a while. Someone wrote, ah, cutscene. Never mind. Show me what you got. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh no. Back to the bad subtitles. Can you please fix my subtitles? They're really obnoxious. Uh, hi. I'm oh, I love this part. What are you? Some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? Mm -hmm. I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If They're the MacGuffins in this game. They can MacGuffins? Be used to defeat Ripto. Oh, you've never heard that saying before? MacGuffin? Hunter, Is that the collectible? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, <laughs> look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. Oh. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Well, hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? Oh. If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Wow! Oh, welcome back, everybody. Get swifty! Okay, so, so, um, I looked up that, that, that song on YouTube, and somebody wrote, I was, I was singing this song in class, and my teacher sang, joined in with me, and someone replied, Did she join in with you before or after you shit on the floor? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Probably funnier if you actually read it yourself. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Binging all three seasons of Rick and Morty is pretty cool. Uh, season four actually just started not too long ago. Yeah, I haven't seen any of it yet. Yeah, me neither. Uh, apparently, like, like the hiatus between seasons has been really freaking long. It has been very long. It takes like a year or two for each season. But uh, I read in an article recently that uh, because the show has pretty much proved how. Uh, popular it is, they're gonna have more people working on it, and the hiatuses w won't be as long from here on out. Hopefully it's not, like, taking a downturn from that. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, they said apparently if if they get, like, up to six seasons, they'll consider making a movie, so I'd be happy to see that. Ooh. I would definitely see that. Dude, speaking of movies... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you saw 1917 today. I did. That is must-see, dude. It was so good. Yeah, you were telling me that uh, the whole movie is... The thing about filmmaking is that it's all a big illusion. Mm -hmm. Magi uh, filmmakers are practically magicians mm -hmm. with a camera. It, and uh, they, they created the illusion of the entire thing being just one big shot. And, in this movie. Yeah, in that movie. And that's You were showing me a behind-the-scenes clip of that earlier. It's mm -hmm. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's really insane. It seems like it was filmed with one camera with no breaks. Yeah, dude, I, I love it when they do that in movies. But to do it for an, that for an entire movie mm -hmm. and create the illusion of that, that's pretty awesome. Hey, that is fucking cool. This bridge. Hey, what's up, Spyro, bro? Uh, spy, bro. Uh. <laughs> yeah, like... He, he has kind of a different voice in this game. Do you remember how he used, he used to sound? No. In the old ones, he was like... Hey, Spyro, I talk like this. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's do this. And now, and now. Remember, press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. He sounds a little more like a bro hey, in this one. Hey, Spyro, yeah. have you seen my cocaine? <laughs> they told me I wasn't supposed to have any more. They showed me Jesus. But 
if you found my cocaine, that would like totally be rad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh yeah, so MacGuffins, I said that term earlier. A MacGuffin is like, um, an object of significant importance in a story, oh. not just a video game. So like in, in Avengers Infinity War, the MacGuffins are the Infinity the Stones. The tacos that Hulk makes. Or, uh, in, uh... Right? No, that's an Endgame. Um, but, um, <laughs> good, good guess, though. <laughs> um, that was one Got of those, that was a pretty heartwarming scene. Um... But, uh, or, or in, uh, Lord of the Rings, the one ring to rule them all is the MacGuffin of that story, for example. Mm. So, yeah, that's a, that's a quote used in stories. Um, so, uh... Hey, question. Yes? If Frodo puts the ring on his penis, does he still disappear? <laughs> <laughs> I have never thought of that before. The cock ring to rule them all. <laughs> I, I've never worn a cock ring before. I don't know if it's good or not. I assume it's good for some people, but uh, okay, I exclusively wear cock rings, but on my hands. Oh, I see. People are like, you want a ring? I'm like, only if it's designed for a penis. What if, what if I get you know those ring pops candies that people? Yeah. Get? What if I use one of those as a cock ring? I wonder how effective mm. that would be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give you extra height and distance. Well. To keep that thing on, you'd have to be at least like one inch around. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you. Gani! Well, wow, I'm so hilarious today. I'm so fucking funny with the penis size joke. Okay, here we go. Um, I realized I'm so fucking hungry. After this episode, I'm gonna like eat a bunch of food. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that's why I got quiet. I like found this trail mix, and I'm like, uh. Well, that's okay. Actually, it's time for me to tell a story, anyways. Yeah. So. Okay, so talismans and orbs. That those are our two main collectibles in this game. All right. And that's why Jen and I are gonna get married now. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. That's 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 a big thing that happened. You proposed to Jen. Yeah, I did. And yeah. she said, "Fuck you." <laughs> and I was like, "Wow." Jen's actually in the other room. Hello, Jen. Well, this will be your first uh, speaking role in the new decade of Royal Goobs. <laughs> Jen's sick right now. She's a little sick right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so you want to you wanna share how it actually happened? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. So we were on a NASCAR raceway in Sweden, and we just drove so fast, the wheels came off, and I saw my life flash before my eyes, and I was like, TAKE THIS RING! And then she's like, SHIT, YOU KNOW WHAT THAT MEANS? WE'RE ENGAGED NOW! And I'm like, FUCK! <laughs> That's how it happened, dude. The actual story is... No! That's... Can you not share this? Oh, really? Yeah, thanks. Oh. Oh, you, oh, oh, is that private? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it was, yeah, but yeah. I would have fucking brought it up when you asked if I wanted to. Oh. James, God damn it! Oh, I didn't know that was private. That's but it, okay. it was very sweet, supposedly. And uh, it, when you told me how, how it happened, I was like, oh, that's so cute. And you were like, yeah, James, I know you live for that fucking mushy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you live for that mushy shit. Yes, so. I do. It's fucking everyone does. Everyone's like, tell me how it happened. I'm like, ooh, yeah, let me tell you how it happened. Ooh. Um, so yeah. And then I respond when they keep asking on one knee, and that's all I tell them. Idle Springs. All right, here we go. First main level in the game. Wow. Took a little while, but here we are. Here we are. Um, so I have a... Oh, actually, there's going to be a, every level starts with a little cutscene at the beginning, so... All of them? I think so, yeah. They, they start with this little kind of Looney Tunes-esque cutscene with, like, mm. some... <laughs> and their butt joke here. That sound sounded like a sound effect from Yoshi's Story. What the... Oh. the <laughs> Back to using my right hand for all eternity. Hey, it's me, Bob the Builder! Oh, yeah. They shut off the power in my house, so I had to eat food out of the trash! Now I'm green! Um, so I have a story to share. Uh, so uh, a little movie called Frozen 2 came out a couple oh, months yes. ago. <laughs> yes! I, I wanted to tell Elliot about this, but he told me to save it for Royal Goobs yes. so we could get his reaction. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, 
I haven't seen an animated film, a kids movie in theaters yeah. on opening weekend in quite a while. Mm -hmm. I forgot what it's like. When you go to a movie as popular as Frozen 2 on opening weekend, it is just, the whole theater is just packed with little kids. And that's why I'm not legally allowed to go. And <sighs> it was friggin'. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it was not a pleasant experience. I'm not used to being around little kids all the time. I'm not a dad. I don't have little kids. I don't mm -hmm. spend time around them often. Oh, uh, I'm used to going to theater. Hell, when, when you and I saw Detective Pikachu, we saw it in a 21 and up theater, so yep. we didn't have to deal with that. It was a really nice experience. So I just right off the bat assumed that's what it would be like, and I was wrong. It was just full of little kids and their parents just making noises going, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> On the one hand, I like being in theaters with lots of people because I like to hear them laugh and hear their reactions to funny things. Mm -hmm. I like that, but when it's kids, Oh my god, they never shut the fuck up. Please tell me you did not tell a kid to shut up. So throughout the movie, I I'm getting to it. So... No, James! <laughs> um, there was this old man who kept, like, having to step over me and Alex. And, and he accidentally kept stepping on our feet. Oh. As he kept having to leave his seat, and I was like... Jesus. He'd do it during the important parts, too. Mm. And uh, just people just kept moving throughout the whole theater. I'm like, God damn it, there's a giant movie in front of you. Sit down and watch it. God. And, and the kids just would not shut up. Finally, oh, about halfway through. Oh, no. Uh, no, no, about oh, two-thirds. No. During one no, of the... No, 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 During no, one of the no, quiet no. scenes, right when one of the big musical numbers began. You, you know, in the first movie, you know the song Let It Go? Yes. How it's a big, powerful song. They, yeah. they do they do it again in this movie, and it, it starts the off all... The same cool. song? Well, they do a similar song oh. where it's, like, big and powerful, but it starts off all quiet. Mm -hmm. And during the quiet scenes, that's where you can hear the kids even more. Yes. And where it... Oh, no, no, Finally, no, no, right no, no, as it no, started, no, no, stop. I lost it, and the kids behind me would show up, and I was like, Shh, shut up! You tell them to shut up? I did. No, <laughs> And geez. right when I did, the dad said, Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, chill out, buddy. And I was like, oh, shit, what have I done? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, you I, don't I, tell a kid to shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't realize that. Fuck, dude. Dude, how old were these kids? I don't know. It was dark. I couldn't tell. They were probably like four or something. Dude, four? Yo, you can actually, like, no joke, like, scar a kid at that age. They can be, yeah. like, scared of adults if you, like, yell at a little kid. Well, see, I... I remember that happening to me. Like, really? some lady... Yeah, I had to pee at a hockey game, and so I had to get up, like, three times because I just couldn't fucking stop peeing. And some drunk-ass fucking old lady, I was probably older than that, like, six or seven, was just, like, yelling from a few rows around, like, Sit the fuck down! Are you fucking kidding me? And I was just like, uh, and I still remember it to this fucking day, dude. Oh, it kind of scarred you a little bit? A little bit. I mean, I eventually got over it, but yeah, dude, you can, like, really fuck up a kid at that age by telling him to shut up. Well, see, here's the thing. Like, as soon as the dad was like, was like, hey, stop, I was like, uh-oh, James, Jamesy boy just screwed up. Oh, no. So I, I was feeling a little scared Yeah. <laughs> throughout the next half hour until the movie ended. And then right when it, the credits started, the dad got up and looked down at me and said, Hey, buddy, did you enjoy the freaking movie? I just sat there and just didn't even give him eye contact because I was scared. And, and he was like, Oh my god, bro. And he was like, Dude, you don't tell kids to shut up during a movie. And the mom who was still sitting behind me said, Yeah, see it at a later time. And he's like, So are you even going to say anything? And I just shook my head, kind of sarcastically, like, while still being scared. And he was like, Don't shake your head at me. And he left. And then a after he left, Alex looked at me and said, Dude, you do not do that. You do oh not tell kids to shove in a the theater. Bro, seriously, man? <laughs> and I was like, Oh, you don't? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Dude, that guy's probably going to be waiting in an alley to kill us. I'll shiv you, bro. And I was like, eh, No, he's not. Dude. But, but yeah, I was like, He, he was scared, too, because you got a big dad who's like probably going to smack me upside the head or something. But Ugh. So yeah, that happened. Um... And we decided to see Frozen 2 again, but this time in a 21 and up theater. <laughs> <laughs> Good fucking god, man. 
I was just pissed. I hate no, it. I understand, but it's talk. a child, bro. I was. It's a little kid. Yeah. Do you not remember what it's like to be a little kid? Okay. I when I told my mom, I told my mom that story yeah, on yeah, Thanksgiving, yeah, yeah. and she yeah. was she she had the same reaction as you. Like yeah. you did not do that. Yeah. Dude. But and I was like, did I do that as a kid? She was like, no, actually, you were a pretty good kid in theaters. You behaved pretty well, and I was like, good. That's how all kids should behave. You, you don't talk during a freaking movie. Sure, but, like, every kid has a different personality, right? Mm hmm Like, <laughs> that's not an excuse to be, like, act that. I mean, I, I get it. You you understand now and shit. I do. At Dude, the time. I'm, I'm not even kidding. kidding. If I was, like, I don't know, if I was with my niece or nephew or something, and some someone, like, yelled at them to shut up, I'd probably, like, take my niece or nephew aside and be like, look, it's okay. Like, some people just have issues, but with, with, like, no joke. I'm not even kidding. That's probably what I'd fucking tell them. And then after, yeah, I'd probably confront you, or I'd probably, like, be like, are you fucking serious? I mean, I wouldn't say that in a kid's theater, but... Yeah, maybe afterwards, dude. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, after it, it ended, I, I, I did feel pretty bad. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. I didn't scar those kids. I just... Wait, you definitely wait. did. They're fucked, dude. You just created the next fucking Charles Manson. <laughs> I just remember when... Okay, back in 2015, when I, yeah. I took my cousin and his friend to go see yeah. the new Spongebob movie, yeah. they also wouldn't shut up during the movie, and there were just yeah. tons of little kids, and I was like, ugh... Whenever I'd take him to see movies yeah. in the theater, he wouldn't shut up. So when I took him to see Captain America Civil War yeah. a year later, I was like, okay, cousin. If Where are you going, by the if way? If you talk during this movie, I will fucking kill you. And he was like, oh, okay. Okay, look, see, that's that's very different because you he's, know he's that family. person. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But if it's a stranger, a big stranger. Imagine if you were at a grocery store as a little kid and, like, the fucking file clerk just turns to you and says, like, shut up. <laughs> like, you'd probably yeah. be shaking in your boots. I mean, it's not the same as a movie theater. We're supposed to be quiet, but yeah, I, I see your point. <laughs> it doesn't make it any less scary. If anything, no, the movie no, no, theater no. makes it more scary. It's dark and like, and you, yeah, you're just surrounded by people and yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, Anyways, I'm I'm done. I'm done ragging on you because you obviously like. I learned my lesson. Yeah, you learned your lesson. But, but yeah, Alex. <laughs> oh, see, see, shit, if, 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 see, if this were a few years ago, back when I was way more stubborn, yeah, I, I would probably would not have learned my lesson. I would have been like, I don't give a shit. You shut the fuck up. But uh, <laughs> since since I've I've learned to be a little less stubborn. Uh, nowadays, after Alex told me that you can't do that, I was like, yeah. oh, okay. I, yeah, I, I get it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can charge me that. Oh, oh wow. It uh, you know, it uh, <laughs> you'll make the kids stronger though. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, some good will come from my anger. Hopefully, the parents will like explain to the kids like, ah, that guy was a homeless crazy man. Mm -hmm. and he just did the crack cocaine. Uh, the whole time during the movie, I was just like, you goddamn kids, stop ruining my kids' movie. Yeah. See, mo most people just like, one, don't go and see a kids' movie without like without that expectation that kids are gonna talk through it. I, I won't anymore. I've yeah. learned my lesson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like if you if you're going to see a kids' movie and like I don't I don't think there's anything weird about that, but uh, like you, you just have to know that like that's gonna be the audience, right? Well, once when you and I and hopefully go and see the Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. movie in two weeks, we'll maybe maybe we should go and see it at the Twenty One and Up Theater. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> I don't I don't even fuck with other theaters, man. Oh, hey, by the way, we're 18 minutes in. Next time on Royal Goose, uh... <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. More stories. <laughs>